This morning, as I mentioned, we'll be baptizing this little one into the body of Christ. We will now be using the new baptismal liturgy. Now, the new baptismal liturgy has just subtle corrections, subtle changes to the baptismal liturgy that is in your prayer book. So you can follow along with your prayer book because of course you're going to need to respond at various times. And uh, you will notice some of the subtle changes as we go along. Bless be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance which is imperishable undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy baptism, the church proclaims the good news of our incorporation into the kingdom of God, a kingdom which Jesus Christ, our incarnate Lord, inaugurated by his life of perfect trust and obedience to the Father. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he brought into being a people of his own possession, which people we are. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are united with Christ in holy baptism, sharing not only in his death, but also in his resurrection, becoming God's children by adoption and grace, thus changing our created nature so deeply that the Holy Spirit says that in baptism we are born again. Let us therefore pray that those who have come for baptism may receive in this holy sacrament that blessing which by nature they cannot have, that they may be made living members of the church, which is the body of Christ, and so be set free from the bondage of sin. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you gave to your children new life through the power of baptism. Grant that this child, raised to new life in Christ, may serve you in faith and love, and may grow into the full stature of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in, and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. We sit now for the proclamation of God's word. From the Word of God, written in the book of Acts, chapter 3, reading from verse 12 to 19. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people, You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us, as though by your own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the Holy and Righteous One and asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead, 
To this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 4, to be found on four, page 473. We'll read verse by verse, alternately, pausing at the abstract. 473. 473. Bigger. 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 Answer me when I call, O God. Defender of my cause. You set me free when I'm hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Turn again and do not sin. Speak in your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see the times. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I have come in peace at once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, you may be well in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the written in 1st John chapter 3 reading from verse 1 through to 7 <clears throat> see what love the father has given us that we should be called the children of God and that is what we are the reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him beloved we are God's children now what we will be has not yet been revealed what we do this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, graduate here. This hymn, Psalm 4. 
Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to Christ, our Savior. When the disciples were telling how they had seen Jesus risen from the dead, Jesus himself stood, stood among them. But they were startled and frightened, and supposed they had seen a ghost. And he said to him, to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you why do you question? Why do questionings rise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit does not, has not flesh and bones as you see that I have. And while they were still in disbelief for joy and wondered, he said to them, have you anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, and everything that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins 
should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this thing. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ, O Lord. Now, oh God, your servants are listening, waiting for a word from you. And so may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be found acceptable unto you, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning once again. If you have followed the readings in the Acts of the Apostles over the last Sundays, and in fact, if you have been reading the scriptures, you would recognize that what is happening in the Acts of the Apostles is a somewhat progression of what took place following Jesus' ascension. If you go to chapter 2, you would see where there is an account of the day of Pentecost. And following that account, you have Peter giving his first sermon. And it said that over 3,000 people were converted as a result. So we move now to chapter 3. And we have the situation where Peter and John are heading to the temple for prayer. Now this is not the following day, nor is it the following afternoon. The scripture says one day. So we anticipate that this is maybe a week, maybe 10 days, I don't know, later. But things have begun to settle down even though they are afraid, the apostles are now more open and they are moving about Jerusalem. And so they come to the temple gate, beautiful, and so they see this man, this beggar, who has been crippled since birth. And we know the story. Silver and gold have I known. And the man stands up, fully resumed in his physical state, able to walk. And the crowd gathers again. Now I'm assuming, and this is one of the reasons why I suggested that it's not the next day, that this is now a different crowd to the one that assembled on Pentecost. Because the message that Peter preaches is the same. <coughs> Peter, pre Peter preaches a message of repentance. You have killed, and he uses as well, the translation uses an interesting term. You have killed the author of life. No, oh, you do that. <laughs> How can you kill life? The author of life. You can't leave. Maybe what the translation should have said is that you have killed the human side of the author of life. But the divine side, the divine side rises in three days. And then he goes on to say, and this is probably the crooks of the whole thing, certainly for this morning. We are witnesses. We 
our witnesses. We see it with our own eye. We touch it. We eat with it. Not a ghost. Because I don't know no ghost that eat fish. <laughs> I don't know no ghost eat pork either, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but we are witnesses of what has taken place. We are witnesses of this man that you killed rising again on the third day. So, on a play play event. And he goes on to say that because of this rising in three days, there is hope. So that all of us who believe can have that hope of a resurrection. But I want us to focus on something here. I want us to focus on the fact that he says... We are witnesses. Nobody can argue with me because I see it myself. You know, I turn away. You're telling somebody a story and say, no man, I lie, I tell. Me see it myself. And so Peter takes that stance and John is right beside him. And, John, and Peter and John use the term we. So it's not just Peter and John, but the entire complement of people. The Bible says over 400 who saw Jesus in his resurrected state are witnesses. And when Peter says this, Peter shakes the confidence of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the religious order. He shakes it because up to that point in time, they were comfortable. They killed the man, killed the shepherd, spread the sheep. They killed it. So, they done. And all of a sudden, here are these men coming to say, it's not done. It just happened again. <laughs> and shakes the religious order. Because that's what he does. He shakes the religious order. That order that was all of what the Jews were about. All of that order that created the hierarchies among the people. And me better than you, because me a high priest. And you are a Pharisee. Shakes that order. Because no, you know no basis. Because here comes Jesus who is not accepted by them, in fact, rejected by them, and killed by them. And Jesus is raised from the dead. So he shakes the religious order. Why? Because he was a... Wake up, people. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. He shakes the religious order because he was a. Hmm? No man, me not connect a pal. Not connect a pal. What me? Can he treat you? What did I say Peter was? Exactly. He shakes the religious order because he was a. Yes. He was a witness. What is made even worse is that through the power of the name of this man, Jesus, this crippled beggar, 
is now running up and down in front of you. And Peter and John don't claim any power of their own. Peter and John say it is through faith in his name that this miracle has taken place. God has a way of doing things. And I'm sure I'm not going to be alone when I say what I'm about to say. God has a way of showing you things. And have a way of showing you something. Jesus! <laughs> so God has shown you something right now. Who is in charge? The fans can come on and when we can concentrate, we can better guide them. So. But God has a way of doing things sometimes. And, and most of the time, we don't realize what God is doing until retrospect, when we take a retrospective view. So, one of the things that God was doing with me over the last few days as I prepared this sermon is that I kept hearing a particular song up to yesterday. I was in a funeral yesterday and the preacher was actually singing the song himself. C.C. Wynans. Her song, see if I get the, the title correct. The Goodness of God. Yes. The Goodness of God. You want to know the tune? Yes. You know it? It's a powerful, powerful tune, you know. Very. Throughout my entire ministerial walk, music has played a very important part in my life. And God has oftentimes spoken to me through some of these songs. And certainly he was speaking to me through C.C. Wynans. And C.C. Wynan says in this tune, in the, in the chorus, because all my life, I've been faithful. You have been faithful. And all my life, I've been so, so good. With every breath, I will sing the goodness of God. All right, so I don't know that you. But what has that, what relevance has that to what we're dealing with today? Cici Wynan says, All is not peace, not yesterday, not this particular trial I'm going through, not that I'm breathing. All he has been able. We have a tune we sing in our prayer group. Great is thy faithfulness. Think I need it? I guess with the boards of the fans and so on, with the internet. <laughs> so, CC Winans does a reflection on her life. And she realizes that at several points in her life, she has witnessed, oh, no, it 
before I reach here. You know, I'm going to break his act faithfulness. Break his act faithfulness. For God, my Savior, my Father, there is no. And then when we come to the end of the course, we say, and great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto Anomina. We've been singing incorrectly. I am complete. And I've been trying to find an old version of that too. Because it is Lord unto me. He's faithful unto himself. And because he is faithful unto himself, he can be faithful to me. Because he is unchanging. Same yesterday, today, and forever. And if you look at the lyrics of the tune, I figured that was right. So GPS, easy come, easy go. And if you look at the lyrics of the tune, the rest of it, the verses, you realize that that is what the tune is saying. That God is faithful unto himself first. So that we can trust everything about God because God don't change. T.C. Wynan says, all how, how come all our life? Because God don't change. And then she goes on to be to say, "You have been so, so, so good." So you know it kind of almost like she can put it into words. You know all the details that she can put. Just good. Just good. All my life you have been so, so good. All my life. And I will sing of the glory of God. I will witness to the glory of God. I will use my God-given talent to witness to the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. So that's what that tune is about. C.C. <clears throat> Wynans has realized, and sometimes it happens to us, that God has been an ever-present, stable force in her life and she reach a point where she can't do nothing else but sing to the goodness of God and if a lot of us look at our own life I don't think there's anybody in here who would say that God has not been good to us all our lives. Anybody here is a witness to the fact that God has been good to them all their life? So you will say to the glory, to the goodness of God. You will witness to the goodness of God. I certainly could engage you for the rest of the day in testimonies. Because all my life I have felt the hand of God on my life. Now please. All of my life. All when they did bad and bust out and they are ruined. When we divorce. When my children start to rebel. Okay. 
And of course, at the point in time when God said, So all he has been faithful. People say, oh, that worked. They said, I don't know the bridging. Maybe it's because I had a praying mother. Let me say that again. Maybe it's because I had a praying mother. <laughs> Ladies, don't underestimate yourselves. Not sure. And maybe it is an exercise in the love that God, that Jesus had for his mother. For you see the prayers of a faithful mother, the prayers of a faithful wife, don't play with it. Books have been written about it. So my mother was a praying woman. serious praying woman and I don't know if that is why no matter where I turn I turn left I turn right God was faithful and the thing about it is that we need to recognize is that yes he will have his hand on you but there is purpose in that, he not just holy man on you for nothing sake, you know. Hallelujah. It is because he has a plan for your life. Amen. Says to Jeremiah, for I know thee, plans yes, not to harm you, but to prosper you. I was at a funeral yesterday. And among the persons in the funeral were a number of persons who were on campus with me. Now, I didn't participate in the official side of the funeral, but I was in my collar. Now. <laughs> I said, you know, you gotta do. <laughs> and when God called you, <laughs> obedience is your response. <laughs> so all my life, he has been faithful. Yeah. And I will sing. <laughs> Can't sing, but I will sing. <laughs> oh, we can do that easily. We can all make a joyful noise. So, today, we're going to christen that little delightful bundle of joy over there. The day has to come. The day has to come. But she is going to say, All my life, he has been faithful. And I will witness to the goodness of God. Come on, check this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> and as I mentioned in our meeting the other day, yes. that's going to be the responsibility of the parents and the godparents primarily and grandparents and so on. Because that's why we do it. Why we do it this morning. Right, baby day? We show share spirit. <laughs> And so, so today, our message is 
since God has been faithful all our lives. We must say, we must testify to what we have witnessed, which is the goodness of God in our lives. Yeah? All of us. Bless you, baby. Yes, sir. Get them out. Get them out. You know, when, they, when somebody sneezes and you say, bless you, you know why it is so? They say, every time you sneeze, you sneeze out the devil. <laughs> so sneeze, baby, sneeze. <laughs> have been so so good with every breath breath that I am able oh I will sing to the goodness of God Amen Join us at the entrance way to the church where the baptism will take place. To join us now. Please take with you the little books, the booklet. Huh? We're going to sing the baptismal thing in your prayer. In your order, sir. 638, Which are going to follow along in this 
book and answer accordingly in the booklet. We're on page nine. Yes, this is where I this is where I All right, so we're ready. Share please with those nearby. And you can follow along in your prayer books. We're currently at page 274. Because remember, you all will respond accordingly. Why do you present this child for baptism? This is the first one. We present this, this child for baptism in order that she may be See, that's how that's supposed to be for everybody to respond. Right? Not just the mother. Why do you present this child for baptism? We present this child for baptism in order that she may be incorporated into Christ for a of Parents and godparents, this child whom you have brought for baptism will, by reason of her infancy, Depend on your help and encouragement to grow in the knowledge, reverence, and service of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. You must remember that it is also your duty to see that she is instructed in the good news of God's salvation in Christ, the Church's creeds and catechisms, and all other things which a Christian ought to know, believe, and practice as a member of the family of God. As she grows, she will also need the help and encouragement of that family so that she may learn to be faithful in public worship and private prayer, to live by love and trust in God, and in due course, to come to receive the laying on of hands by the bishop in confirmation. Will you give that help and encouragement by your prayers, by your example, and by your teaching? I will do so, the Lord be my helper. Will you do all in your power to see that this child is brought to the bishop to be confirmed? I will do so, the Lord be my helper. Therefore I ask these questions, which you must answer for yourself and for this child whom you have brought for baptism. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I turn to do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I so put my trust. Do you promise to love God and obey him as your Lord? I promise. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness? I do. Do you renounce injustice and all the evil powers of the world? I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your love, you have called us to know you, led us to trust you, and united our life with yours. Surround this child with your love. Protect her from evil. Sustain and guide her by your Holy Spirit, and receive her into the family of your church, that she may walk with us in the way of Christ and grow in the knowledge of your love. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Jesus Christ, give God thanks and praise. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of water. Over it, your Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of the bondage of Egypt. And in it, your Son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit fulfilling his ministry by offering himself on the cross, blood and water flowed from his side. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have appointed the water of baptism for the regeneration of all people through Jesus Christ, your Son. In joyful obedience to him, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, therefore, sanctify this water by the same Holy Spirit. And grant that all who are baptized in it may be united with Christ, forgiven in him, and set free from the bondage of sin, and raised to Christ in eternal life, by him and with him and in him, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. You have brought this child to baptism. Will you now declare before God and his church the Christian faith into which this child is to be baptized and in which you will help her to live and grow? Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our baptismal commitment. Page 277. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? And I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of God. He was conceived by the God of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died in the Spirit. He ascended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe in and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Just pause and say when we talked about the Catholic Church in that instance, we're not talking about the Roman Catholic Church. The Catholic Church being the universal church of Christ. It's that time. Bring her close. Let's see if we can bend her over the way. That's all just for you. Name this child. Name this child. Ariana Jamelia. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God has united you to himself and received you into his family, the church. Amen. God has united you to himself and received you into the family, into his family, the church. I sign you with the sign of the cross, the cross of Christ. Do not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ crucified. Fight valiantly against all evil and continue Christ's faithful servant to the end of your life. Right, ma'am? <laughs> I think you like me anyway. <laughs> First time you said a light so fast. God has rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved son. God parent? Anyone? Any God parent? Receive, wait, receive this light and walk as a child of Christ. Let your eyes so shine in all men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the Lord's family. We are members here of Christ, children of the Savior and the God, and members of the Savior of the Savior. That's it. You're baptized. You're a member of the family. Yes. You are good. <laughs> I, I should have asked him if you had your family and all of that. You can always use and transfer from one to Godfather, you can blow the candle down. 
Um, and remember what we said about the candle. Yeah. So like our JPS cut the power now. That's not to be used for that, right? It's to be used to remind her of who she is in Christ. All right, let's go back to the seeds we have in the kitchen. Children can join us if so desired. All right, I'm going to ask you to spread out. You have your notes? Okay. Come down, come down, come down and spread out up here. Come down. All right, so for those of you who are visitors, what I usually do at this point, to make sure that, you know, I wasn't just speaking the sermon for myself. I usually ask the children before they go off to Bible to Sunday school, what it is they remember from the sermon, what they've learned. And there is a miracle young lady in here who takes notes. I don't know, we ask her just it. Let me ask somebody else, because I know you have it. All right, so what was I talking about when I was giving the sermon? Anybody remember anything? Nice. I still give you time. Anybody? You're a lady. All right. You're a lady too. And nobody remembers? Yes. All right, you are late as well. All right, sweetheart, you have the floor. Okay, so Peter preaches a message of repentance. How can you kill life? You can't do that. So what he should be saying, you have, you have killed the human side of life. We are witnesses of what has taken place, and he goes to say, because of the rising of the third day, there is hope. So nobody can argue with me. Because we we say it we see so itself. When Peter said that <laughs> when Peter said that he shakes, the, he shakes the confidence of the Pharisees. He shakes the religious order, the order of what the Jews are about. He shakes the ranking so because Jesus was rejected by them and killed by them and they are afraid of because he was a witness and Peter and John do not claim anything they just speak the word of God but God has a way of doing things sometimes sometimes that's a way we don't even know about C.C. Um, well, is singing a song that reflects how God is good to us in her lyrics all my life been faithful. She is so good. All my life you have been so so good. Goodness, your goodness is running after, is running after me. This means anywhere she goes, God is with her. He 
Sister Prayer this morning, you'll be guided by Form E to be found on page 112. Page 112, Form E. Let us pray for the fellowship of the Church of Christ and for all God's creatures. With all who confess the name of Jesus as Lord and Savior, we offer our prayers and praises in spirit and in truth. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. With Jesus Christ, our great high priest, who ever lives to intercede for us, we uphold all ministers of God's word and sacraments that they may fulfill their high calling in the faith. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. We pray for the unfailing guidance of the Holy Spirit on those who are called to interpret and expound the will of the Lord to others. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. We pray for all organizations within the fellowship of the body of Christ that their work may edify the people of God and bear faithful witness to the gospel. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. We pray for all persons who do not share our confession of faith, that with courage, truth, and love, we may work together with them and promote the common good. 
Father in heaven, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country and all who make decisions on our behalf, that they may be guided by the Spirit to direct our affairs in righteousness and peace. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. For our judges, magistrates, and all who administer justice, that in all things they may seek to do your will and to protect the rights and freedom of your people. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. In our schools and in all other places of learning, may true knowledge, sound wisdom, and godly discipline ever be found. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. For the poor, the hungry, the unemployed, and all victims of persecution and discrimination of any kind. May God in Christ help us all to bring relief, justice, and protection. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. To all who suffer now from pain and disease, from human discomfort and misery, may God in Christ bring healing and joy for the renewal of their faith. Father in heaven, hear our prayer that we may use our right to the fullness of the earth, that our pursuits in science and the advancement of our skills may ever be found, may ever be in service of that true humanity which is created in the image of God. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. That we may never become the slaves of money or of the lust for power, but may rather strive for victory through the power of love. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. That with all who belong to the communion of saints, both living and departed, we may ever rejoice in the blessed assurance of that hope which has been won for us in Christ. Father in heaven, receive yes. his prayer in the name of their Just read one of you in prayers now, please. Lord, we thank you for your love so freely given to us all. We pray for families around the world. Bless the work of the Mother's Union as we seek to share your love through the encouragement, strengthening, and support of marriage and family life. Empowered by your spirit, May we be united in prayer and worship, and in love and service. Reach out as your hands across the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. have no sin. We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. We take a moment in silence to bring to mind those things for which we see God's forgiveness.
pardon and deliver you from all your sin. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit we are all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Let us then pursue the things that make for peace and build up the common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Greet one another. Good morning, friends. This morning the chorus for the peace is based on our epistle for today. First John 3, Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. And we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it as a round. So we're going to sing it together the first time. And the second time, Jackie and we follow Jackie and the choir members on that side. And then people on this side will follow Colin and the choir members on this side. So we're going to do it together the first time and the second and the third time. We follow Jackie and those folks and then you follow Colin and this. Everybody understands? We did that wrong. All right, here we go.
and enable us in communion with the Blessed Mary and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints. <coughs> and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in songs of everlasting praise. Savior has taught us, let us now pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day of our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Bread, to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, of our mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, of our mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Our souls will feast and be satisfied, and we will sing that songs of praise to him. Number 845-845.
we will sing part one of hymn 256. 256, we will sing part one of the not part one.
knowledge of you who have the small book we're on page 15 for those of you who have the regular prayer book we're on page 280 wait let us pray most merciful father we thank you for feeding us the body and blood of your son jesus christ for adopting us as your own children for incorporating us in the holy church and for making us worthy to share in the inheritance of your saints in that through jesus christ our son our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god Lord God, our Father, maker of heaven and earth, we thank you that in your Holy Spirit, by your Holy Spirit, this child has been born again into new life, adopted for your own, and received into the fellowship of your church. Grant that she may grow in faith, in the faith into which she has been baptized, that she may profess it for herself, and as she grows in Christ, that all things belonging to the Spirit may live and grow in her. Amen. Amen. God our Father, whose Son, our Lord, God our Father, whose Son, our Lord, grew up in a home in Nazareth, we pray for the home of this child, that it may be hallowed by prayer and be of the abode of your love of your joy and of your peace. Give to her parents care and understanding in the training of this child. And may she, by their teaching, be an example, lead them in the way in which they should go, in the way of Christ, that she may grow in grace and acknowledge your love for the honor and glory of your name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>
level. Mm -hmm. If you don't hear so put that so high. <laughs> you don't want to go at the next <laughs> Just two little uh, announcements from me. Uh, we have spoken about confirmation class, and some people have sent in their forms. Anybody else who is interested or knows of somebody who is interested, please have the forms completed as quickly as possible and get them into the office. We want to be able to begin next month with the classes. So please, confirmation, uh, persons interested, please come forward. The second thing is an appeal. We have a member who has to undergo major surgery. And, and even though he is doing it in the public sector, you know that they're still charged. University hospitals are still charges. And he has been able to secure the vast majority of the funding, but he is short. He's short by nearly $40,000. So I'm sending out an appeal to anyone, Nichols, Nate Buckles, so anyone who can contribute to his, to assisting him, please do so today because we don't have a lot of time then. Uh, you can just leave the money, just indicate that it is for this, and you can leave the money in the office or with those who will be looking after the collection today, those members, any member of the church committee. And finally, one last, Brother Time. Brother Time. Brother Sleep. Brother Time. He has got it. He got it. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you up and down. Perfect. I bet you know as well that another of our members just had made their surgery, uh, Chris Murray. And he is recovering well. So we praise God for that. Well, I'm not going to talk for long. Come It's been too hot. Uh, if you see me disappear, of course, it's because I'm heading to St. Andrew. Pleasant morning, brothers and sisters. It's a little warm, eh? But maybe we need some of these warmth to remind us of the pleasures we have. You know, when we have the fans and we take them for granted and we don't know we have to pay the bills and all of that. So now that we get a little warm, it makes us appreciate the small mercies. Welcome, everyone worshiping with us today. <coughs> online and in-house. Um, but before we go farther into the notices, there are two members who have something to say. For some of us who are members of Mother's Union, today is Provincial Sunday. Um, Sunday celebrated in the province of the West Indies. And so Mrs. Foggy will bring a message from the provincial president. And then Ashley will be having her appeal as well. And then I'll continue with the notice. Thank you. Message from the provincial president for Provincial Sunday. April 14, 2024. Dear members, in this my first year as provincial president, it is an honor and privilege for me to deliver a message on the occasion of the Mother's Union Provincial Sunday. I hope you had a happy Easter and experienced the blessings of this joyful season. Christ is risen, he has risen indeed. I take this opportunity to express my thanks to all of the members of the province for your continued hard work and perseverance. 
This has kept our province and, and diocese alive and well. We recognize this third Sunday of Easter as Mother's Union Provincial Sunday. But we must remember that we have the entire week to celebrate and focus on our province. We have a peculiar situation where we have a unit of seven dioceses, all in different countries, working as one unit. As such, we must continue to work together priorly to ensure that we fulfill the aim and objects of the organization. These are still relevant today because years after our founder, Mary Sumner, responded to the needs of her day, even as society and family structures have been changing. We must demonstrate our faith in action as we work in our various ministries, all varied communities. As we do so, we must remember our theme, Transformation Now. That is transforming ourselves, our strategies, and our methods as society is involving before our eyes. We have learned new skills strategize and organize to do things differently and strive to conquer the world of technology as we live daily with platforms such as Zoom, Google, Microsoft, Chat, GPT, and many others. During our provincial week, we can take the opportunity to highlight the work of the Mothers Union in the province especially in our churches and in our communities. The community must be aware of our programs. For example, our parenting programs, children's homes, daycare, and homework centers. Our response to the need of the elderly and marginalized and our prior resources. Our experience with COVID-19 virus has left us with financial hardship, loss of income, and additional challenges. We have also lost many of our dearest hardworking members. This has not only caused pressures on our work, but also on our family life, relationships, and in many cases, left us with unemployment problems. We therefore have to reflect on the needs of families, youth, children, and the community, and seek to find ways of alleviating hardships and sufferings. We can also advocate for change in situations that will help the disadvantaged and the marginalized. We must demonstrate our faith in action and seek to build the faith of others while offering prayer and other services. We are reminded in the story of Easter that Jesus died and rose again to redeem man, humankind, and he has promised to be with us always. Therefore, as people of faith, I invite you to be guided by the words of St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Happy Provincial Sunday and enjoy our special week. God's richest blessing to you all. Valerie K. West, Provincial President, Trinidad.
thanks Mrs. Foggy before I respond to that though. No. Um, Ashley? Good morning everyone. Good morning Ashley. Okay, how are we feeling this morning? Hot. <laughs> Alright. So, okay. How many of you work in Kingston and St. Andrew? Can I say a raise of hands? If you study there, you go to Kingston and St. Andrew frequently. How many of you have a car? <laughs> I don't want to take up a lot of your time, right? Because I know we have to go home, we have to cook Sunday dinner, we have to wash the car. But wouldn't you want to take that washing of car off that list? Andrew High School for Girls, class of 2024, is having an annual car wash to reduce the cost of paying for the ceremony, right? No, the graduation ceremony, my graduation ceremony. I would like to thank God for seven long years. He has been good to me, and we'd like to celebrate in style. But we can't do that without your help. So we're having a car wash on Wednesday, April 17, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. at my school, St. Andrew High, the Hope Road campus, the one near Halfway Tree, side Clock Tower, side Hart, in front of Hart, right there. There's a big sign that says St. Andrew High School for Girls, so you can't pass it. Please! There are different prices. You're wondering the cost. So, if you have a small car, you just want the car wash, that's $900 huh? Cheap. Well, that, that is it now if you want a super clean. Really? That's $1,100. That cheap. That cheap. I will personally wash your car. It's cheap. Okay. Now, if you have an SUV, because I see a lot of them out there. <laughs> Just to wash it is 1200 And if you want it super clean like the interior and shine, polish, that's one five. Now I have five tickets right here and they all need to go. But if you can't come, I will take the money. <laughs> Else, I'll be here after service. Thank you. Please help us. Okay, you see the budding entrepreneur, right? She just know how to do it. But you see the beauty of it? She hand over the ticket. She don't even collect the money because we must realize that we don't want the Lord to whip us out here for money changing. All right, so um, Mrs. Foggy brought greetings from the provincial president. And we heard her name, Valerie. She's at, at, from Trinidad and Tobago. And just to, you know, to share a little something about her. Her husband is an archdeacon in TNT. And he is a member very active member of the mothers. So men in the church, you can join the mothers union. Okay. All right, so welcome again to persons um, visiting for the first time and also online, welcome to persons sharing with us online for the first time. We are not able to see you standing, but we are gonna ask the persons in church who are visiting for the first time to please stand, give us a name. And I noticed we had a nice little line this morning of first time visitors. And I want to extend a welcome. I know, um, I know they are following along um, the family tradition. And I hope everybody will follow Ariana and worship with us more often. 
in the meantime can you stand and give us your name and i'm asking if you are not committed to anywhere of worship can you join church of the holy spirit desmond adams, desmond adams welcome Silvester. Hmm? and Sylvester. Karen Sylvester. Rodney Small. Rodney Small. Rodney Small. That's all John right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And Natalie. So, guess what? Welcome. We are happy. Give them the Holy Spirit. So we extend the welcome, the very warm welcome. Oh, I'll be disappointed, so now if you have fun, but you know, life. <laughs> we are asking that if you have no home place of worship, you join us at Holy Spirit 8 a.m. any Sunday morning, you are always welcome. Persons celebrating birthdays this week. Chazre Bunny on the 14th. The 16th, Scovel Wright and Wayne Brown. I rock in my head because I have proxy celebration. The 18th, Cyril Longshaw. 19th, Ivy Latour. 20th, Mavis Burton Edwards. <coughs> Jeannie Beckford, Jabari Longshaw, and Susan Hurge Moore. We have no recorded anniversary. Can the persons in church who are celebrating birthday this week please stand before we continue the notices so you and sing the birthday song for you. notices continue. Daily morning prayer by Zoom and um, for persons who have the newsletter, quite a bit of them is in there. There's one error in the newsletter where we are not having property committee meeting this Wednesday. It was last Wednesday. We normally have it before we have our regular committee meeting. Daily morning prayer by Zoom at 6.30 a.m. and the thanks to the person who does the the, the, um, the news that are this week, it's printed. You can join, whether or not you participate, you can listen from your car, and you might be, you might be tempted to participate. It is like, um, it is sometimes like talk show host, where some people listen and some people talk. Monday in house Bible study at 9 a.m. And this Tuesday, church committee meeting via Zoom at 7 p.m. Wednesdays we have our usual prayer meeting before four, between 4.30 and 6.15 p.m. And Thursdays, choir practice. And for who have been listening to the choir singing, some of us bad men, you know, and would love to join the choir, but we don't have the real with all. We don't have the voice. So, for the persons who can sing, can speak to, our choir director, especially the male. Any of you guys over there can see? Please join the choir over here. Um, we have a number of, of deaths. And yesterday we went to a funeral to celebrate with um, Mrs. Miss Joan Duncan. And Miss Maureen Seymour is across Cross and Pan Family Association. And I am caught up in it too, but we had such a good day. And we come back, bad minor, see? 
a really bad man because the church fully air conditioned and then they'll take offering from me. So I'm a bad man, but when will we get there? Anybody nice any, anybody nice to us and can do get some AC? <laughs> And then somebody can be nice to us and help us with the light bill. All right, it's a thought. Where is the color you will? Solar. Yeah, we're gonna get solar in time, but you know, we have to we, we have to think of maybe for the first one we won't get the solar yet. So anybody who love us enough, can you can donate two units, you can donate one. You see how it feels today? But we don't have a light, so even if we had it, it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> All right, so we have some persons, and we are asking that you uphold some persons in your prayer. Some of us can deal with death better than others. So let us offer a little praying hands, a hug. Sometimes we don't need to say much, especially in, in the situation where people are grieving. And so our sister Shelley Lee, who is the, the committee secretary as lost her aunt, and her aunt will be buried on Monday at 10 a.m. at the University Chapel. So keep the family in prayers and for who can attend, we'll be welcome to have you there. Also other members of our church family who are mourning at this time. And if you look in the, the newsletter, you will see um, Sister Millicent has a niece and not yet buried. That sister car whose brother is buried already and so on. Please ladies, uphold them in your prayer. Uphold us each, whether we have death or not, or each other in prayer. Okay, but for who can assist and visit and call and give a hug and send a prayer, praying hands, Please, we can't be so selfish. We are brothers and sisters, you know. That's why I don't use the word friends in church, although the Bible speaks to friends are better than servants. But we are God's children, so we are brothers and sisters, like it or not. You don't have to like me, but I'm your sister. You have to love me. I'm God's child as well. And so, uphold our each other. The... AWA is celebrating 40 years as a group. I think it's in this church. And there's going to be a banquet. Yes, banquet. Scheduled for May 18th, 2024. That's next month. We don't have a lot of time. And it is to be at the College of Construction Services Auditorium. That name half. We all have pretty pretty name. And the tickets are five thousand dollars. So it's ten thousand dollars for you and your spouse. And um the ticket carrier for amount of information. Some just mean and say Pat looking at me and love. Pat said it's not your spouse. <coughs> you understand? It's not your spouse. So uh, we want to see this post so that we can, I, can, I can know no business. But ladies, we are asking that each member take a ticket and possibly one for your spouse. Sell one. Catch one spouse and carry it. Right. Share the table with us somebody. We need, we, need, we, need the, we need the money. The church has a number of things going on. And if you look in the newsletter, you will see a lot of needs there. And we have some more needs too. Um, Mother's Union is also celebrating their 40th wedding. Wedding, wedding, wedding with the AAA. 40th anniversary, that's in September. So you have a little more time to plan for MU. And that's $5,000 as well. But you have a little time now to work. But that other $5,000. And to buy some other pretty dandan. To wear to the other banquet. <laughs> More information will be shared on that one. Conversion of St. Paul's, our sister church, our child church. For us who remember when we broke bronze, when Father Barry broke bronze for St. Paul's. 
They are inviting us to their day of prayer and fasting on April 20th at 9 a.m. The presenter will be Archdeacon Leroy Johnson. And a lot of us remember Father Leroy, who you did not poet from Recon. He is now an Archdeacon in, in the Manual region. So, these are the notices. However, I'm going to ask persons who are celebrating birthdays, no recorded anniversary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, for persons maybe have heard a coming, I'm one of the lay readers in the church. <coughs> and so normally what would have happened is that the priest would offer a special prayer for a person celebrating birthdays and anniversary this week. We have no recorded anniversary. And for persons to travel. So whoever is having birthdays this week and wish to come up for prayer may do so. Whoever is traveling may do so. May come up as well. So birthdays on the left, prayers, um, Birthdays on the left. Traveling. She can come or we meet her down here. You want to come? Are we everybody can meet you down here? Alright, we can meet her down here. And then um persons traveling on the other side. So then all they're celebrating. You need to. All right, I enjoy the birthdays over here, man. So this is my birthday. Lord, as we come to you this morning, we will thank you for another walk for us, another day, another year about you. We do that. As Father said this morning, God is with everything. He has been kind to us in every way. And so, Lord, let us be mindful that every day we wake up is a blessing. Every single day we open our eyes and say, Thank you, Jesus, is a blessing. And so, for my sisters and my son, may God continue to give us His journey mercies around the globe, around the sun, and help us to continue in His path. To give love, care, and attention to our fellow man here on earth. These are the verses we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. <coughs> and to my sister and I that will be traveling this week. May God give us journey mercies. May God let us be blessed to where we go. May He take us back safely when it's our time. And Lord, while we have left our congregation, help us not to leave your presence. Help us, mighty God, to be there with you everywhere we go. Help us to be able to minister, to call your name, to let persons know who we are and who we do are. And so, Lord, we ask that you give us your due blessing, your due happiness, your due will and wish to your son's name. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, these are the, no the, the notices. Thank you very much. The closing name is 373. Oh, sorry. Um, the fiddler and four Shelley's aunt. Um, her name is Phyllis Francis. It's at University Chapel on Monday, the 29th at 10 a.m. Monday, the 29th at 10 a.m. The person's in key, so can you look at it?
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.